Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 126. It's Sunday morning. You're watching it on Monday, so happy Monday. Anywho, you saw yesterday Bar Barcadia, Barcadia, Arcadia Bike Fest. Uh, had a good time. Bikes are all ready to go now, so I don't have to mess with them. We basically have three weekend days left before we head out. Uh, kind of kick the summer off. So we still have some softening that needs to be done. I think we're going to try to knock that out. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do it today or next weekend, but last I heard was today. So we're going to try to knock, at least get all our softening done um, before we head out here in the next couple weeks. We've got to mow the yard, you know, do all the stuff that needs to be done since we're going to be gone for i don't know we're going to be gone for at least a couple weeks um could be longer depending on circumstances that uh, are kind of out of our control at this point so um if if xyz happens then we'll go do xyz if it doesn't then we'll come back here so um stay tuned we'll let you know how that turns out and, and what the plans are but anywho it is Sunday morning. Um, I started a little later today. It's it's a little warmer today. I'm going to say it's uh, definitely in the 70s this morning because uh, I feel very moisturized. Anywho, um, it's time for some coffee and then uh, I'm going to get Angie out and about and we're going to get to work. So we'll see you here in a pew. In a pew. We'll see you in a pew. All right, guys, so before I continue with this video, this is a little brief interruption. So the story you're about to hear is about this belt I have in my hand. And, uh, you know, I put it out uh, and tell the whole story. Um, and part of the story I feel really bad about. Um, and Mama Badger's even like, you know, are you going to... Because I could have I just like not included that in the story and just showed you the good part of the story but I wanted to show the good and the bad even though the bad is like totally on me so as you're watching this um, just know this is like the whole story I didn't take out the bad part about me um, I left it in but that being said Guys, I need to get better at remembering people's names. Um, it is a flaw I have. I am not good at it. I can remember their bikes before I can remember their names. So if you guys have any tips or tricks on how I can get better at knowing, learning, and remembering people's names, um, help me out. Give me those suggestions down in the comments. And uh, here's the rest of the video. What's up, guys? It is Sunday evening, and... Um, yeah, you know, I told you earlier today what my plan was, right? Mama Badger and I were going to get out in the yard. We we're going to probably finish the softening and, uh, you know, get some work done in the yard because we only had like two weekends left. Well, we did nothing. We did nothing outside today. In fact, we pretty much just worked all day. Um, I did sit in my recliner all day. Hell, you can see I'm still in the shirt I worked out in this morning. Um, I sit in the recliner all day with my laptop in my lap. Um, we did watch TV shows and just like laid around and did nothing today. And I feel really guilty because I have all this stuff to do and I didn't do it. But I was just like bleh, tired. I didn't want to do it. I didn't have the energy to get out and get it done. And um, so we just hung out in the house, um, kept, caught up on some work. Mama Badger put out a video for her biker chicks on makeup. And uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, what a boring day um, from the standpoint of, of, you know, doing a video and sharing it with you guys. But I'm kind of pissed off about this. So listen to this story and... Um, You'll understand why I'm angry. So anyway, I was, uh, we were all hanging out in the house. Uh, Angie's mom and dad, Grandma Badger and Grandpa Badger, they, um, they came over and we were just chit-chatting. I get a knock on my front door. I'm like, who the hell could this be? I'm not expecting anybody. So a gentleman showed up. And here's the part that pisses me off. I can't for the life of me remember his name. He's been to my house a few times. I have this wheel chalk right here. Because he gave it to me. Because he wasn't using it. He's a fan. He watches all of our vlogs. He's going to watch this vlog tomorrow. And I feel like just a complete and total fucking asshole. But he showed up. 
I answered the door and I drew a blank. I blanked. I cannot tell you his name. Now, here's the video I did with him at the door. Um, and I have racked my brain all afternoon. I, for the life of me, cannot remember his name. I have looked through videos. I've looked through messages because I know we've talked somewhere. Um, and I know I've mentioned him in videos. And I can't find it anywhere. Um, I, I spent a lot of the afternoon just hunting hunting and searching this guy goes by my house all the time um listen to this the other day i thought somebody was in trouble <laughs> it takes all types guys it takes all types anyway so he stopped by today and this really is what upsets me about not um remembering his name he brought me a bell. He brought me a gremlin bell. He's like, I can't have you riding this summer, especially Route 66, and not have a bell. I mean, how freaking cool is that? Um, and so he showed up to give me, I'm hooked on phonics here. He showed up to give me this bell for silver. Check that out. How cool is that? So anyway, I now have a bell for silver given to me by somebody whose name I can't remember. God, I feel like a jackass. Um, but I, I insert that video in here for you to see um, me getting the bell from him and thanking him. Um, but yeah, I just, I cannot, I cannot think of the name. Neither can Angie. So Angie's kind of racked her brain too. We just, we just cannot think of the name. So, all right guys. So I am hanging out at my house and I get a knock on the door. <laughs> and I open the door and it's somebody standing there saying, well, you can't ride silver on Route 66 without a gremlin bell. That's right. That's right. So um, I really appreciate it. You guys have seen him. Um, I've talked about him before because uh, he's the one that also brought me um, the wheel. I guess it's a wheel chalk. Right. Um, and uh, I still haven't used it yet. It's out in my garage. I can't wait to use it, um, but I haven't yet. So um, from the bottom of my heart, man, thank you. I bikers appreciate Bikers supporting this. bikers. Hey, it's catching on, guys. That's right. Thank you so much for bringing it by. I'm really, you're watching this. I am so sorry. Um, please tell me your name. <laughs> Anyway, um, and then I got a message from Howard Howland, uh, one of the guys that rode the world record poker run with us. Um, he's up in the uh, Nebraska area, um, maybe Iowa, somewhere in there. Anyway, he bought a bell off of Amazon, and it's being sent to me. So I have two bells for silver. That means I should be double good, right? I can put one on each side, and this summer is gonna be super successful because I'm gonna have twice the bells that I normally have. But anyway, um, that's it, guys. Um, not much to report on today. We literally just sat in the house and uh, worked on the internet all day and watched TV and did nothing hugely productive other than the work we do every day. So, anywho, maybe tomorrow will be more exciting, but um, we will see you in the morning, tomorrow. Bye guys.